I am inquiring about Seximina. I believe that my son, age 41, has it. He has always walked and talked in his sleep since age 4 to 5. He would walk around the house and seek to urinate in a chair or trash can. One time he even stood over a friend of the family and we had to grab him before he peed on her. His mother and I would always have to put him back in bed. He never ever knew that it happened. He now is accused of touching his stepdaughter as they laid in the bed. She even says that he might have been asleep. He is facing a possible life sentence. He claims that he did not do it and does not remember what happened. Is there any info or advice for him? Could he need an evaluation from a doctor that would be entered into his trial? I need help fast. The trial is in July. Thank you for contacting Just Answer. I am giving you a link to information on Sexomnia. I am also quoting below from that site. The condition, Sexomnia, recently made headlines because of a study at the Toronto Western Hospital in Canada. Results from questionnaires filled out by 832 sleep center patients revealed that 62 participants, or 7.6%, experienced sexomnias, 11% of the men and 4% of the women. The researchers expected the percentage of those with sexomnia to be lower in the general population, and these results made them realize that the condition might be more common than previously believed. HTTP colon slash www.everydayhealth.com slash sleep slash what is sexomnia dot asks I would therefore call the Toronto Western Hospital in Canada and see if you can get in contact with one of the researchers to see if you can solicit their help after explaining the situation to them and ask them if they would know how you can legally proceed. I think it is very important to start there because most people don't even know what sexomnia is. Start with the researchers and see how they may help you. Of course, I need not say this, but you would tell them that you would be glad to pay them for their time. There is nothing like getting statistically significant research that has been done on this subject. My heart is with you. I wish you well. Thank you for the information. However I already have a printout about the research in Canada. Perhaps there is someone in FL, Orlando R, who could help me. Do you recommend anyone close to my home and to where the trial will be held? Let me check. There is not anybody in Orlando, Florida. Who has done research on sexomnia? There have been no previous studies of how frequently sexomnia occurs, Sharon A. Chung, Ph. D., co-investigator of the study and sleep research laboratory staff scientist at the University Health Network in Toronto, Canada, was quoted as saying. While our finding of 8% of people reporting sexomnia seems really a high number, it should be stressed that we only studied patients referred to a sleep clinic, Dr. Chung said. So, we would expect the numbers to be much lower in the general population. A total of 832 patients were evaluated, 428 were men and 404 were women. Researchers say that even though sexomnia is common, only 4% of patients reported symptoms to their sleep specialist. So I would still contact Dr. Sharon A. Chung and ask her, who would be closer to you who has done this research or would have enough knowledge about sexomnia to be able to testify on your son's behalf. When so much is at stake go to the best. It will hold more weight in court. It's not as though Toronto is so far away when so very much is at stake. 
If you have a health question and want to chat with a doctor now, visit justanswer.com slash yt health.